I'm at the beauty, beautiful Bali National Golf Club. This is the eighth hole, and we've had one of our subscribers to our Search for Scratch program, Daryl, has written in. Daryl's an 18 handicapper and wants to get down to 12, and he has problems with distance control around the green, so chipping and pitching shots. So, Daryl, I've set up three balls, three different distances from the hole for you, and I've got three clubs that I use around the greens, and sometimes I use more, but in this case, I'm just going to focus on one club and just show you a technique that you can use and then you can use that with different clubs once you know how to do it. It's very simple to do and I've been teaching this method for a long time and got a lot of good results with it. So first and foremost just to show you what it looks like Daryl. So it's a very narrow stance. Uh, you're probably doing this already when you're playing shots around the green and the ball position is going to be somewhere between the middle of the stance and the rear foot and you'll need to do a little bit of experimentation to find the best spot for you but it doesn't take too much. For the exercise, the first thing we do is a couple of rules. I need to get the pressure in my front leg to be constant through the stroke to get solid contact, Daryl. So just holding the golf club in, in front of my shoulders here like this, if I lean, the front of, lean my shoulders towards the target, you'll see that the shaft is now suspended just inside my left leg. And I can feel a lot of pressure on my left leg here. So probably 70%, so much so that it's easy to lift my right leg off the ground. So first and foremost, Daryl, I want you to make sure that you've got a bit of pressure in that front side. Now, when a lot of people play shots around the greens and they're inconsistent with their, with their strike and therefore distance control, quite often what happens is they start in a pretty good place and as the arms swing back, the pressure transfers from this leg back to this leg and they get over here too much. And when they swing through, they pivot off this back leg. So they swing up through the ball this way and the left wrist will break down a little bit and they chunk it and hit all sorts of shots like that. But by keeping the pressure forward through the stroke, that'll help that part. So that's number one. Number two, Daryl, the golf club always stays in front of the body. So when you're swinging the golf club back, at no point of time do you want the club head in a chip or a pitch shot, these types of shots, to travel behind your body over here. A lot of people do this. Very hard to hit the golf ball there with the club over here because actually it's pointing in that direction. So you want to keep the golf club in front of the body, Daryl. And what that does, the beautiful thing about this is by keeping the club in front, the club swings up and down more this way. So it'll travel down through the ball better. So that's number two. And number three, Daryl, when the golf club swings back, you want to have a, be able to regulate the length of the stroke. And I have three places we can regulate from. Knees, hips, and shoulders. So pitch shots are played from waist to shoulders or from hips to shoulders. And the chip shots are played below the shoulders. So when I set up to the golf ball, I've got a just slightly back of center with my, with my ball position. And the handle is leaning towards the target. Now, here's the important point here, Daryl. You want to maintain that relationship of handle leading club head through the stroke. What that does is it keeps the lead wrist, the target side wrist, firm through the shot like this, just by keeping this relationship. So these shots played around the greens, the club will not swing back higher than the right hip. And in fact, for these close up ones here, it won't travel higher than the right knee. So it will look like this. We're going to go to right knee to left knee. So it's called a K stroke. It looks like this. Now the first shot that I've got here is just off the green. It's two meters off the green. This by definition is a chip shot. It's played within two meters of the green. And then from the green, I've got one, two, three, four, five big steps. So I've got to carry the ball about two and roll it out five. I've got my pitching wedge for that. I'll set up and play it the way I've described it to you. Little small stroke, no higher than the right knee. And that's pretty good, it's about a meter behind the hole. So the contact was solid off the face. The ball landed about where I wanted it to, maybe slightly in front. And it's, it's set up in a position where I could score better from there. Now I'm walking back a few paces and now I'm here. And again, I'm still gonna use a pitching wedge, but what I'm gonna do this time is, is hit this shot, Daryl, and probably land it just off the green because there's no trouble around the greens here at this, at this uh, particular hole. It's all mown. 
And so if I can land it just off the green somewhere here and just let it chase up onto the green near the pin, that would be the go. And again, I'm not gonna swing the club very far back. I'm just gonna keep it at that relationship, that right knee to left knee, accelerate the club through and maintain that handle relationship I talked about. Let's have a look at this one. So land it just off the green, let it run on. That's a little closer and that turned out pretty good. So we're okay there. So distance control or diff two different distances. And all I'm really regulating is how far the stroke goes back, how far the stroke goes through and maintaining that handle to head relationship. Okay, third one again from here, it's gonna be a little bit longer swing now. So the club will probably swing back closer to my hip and on the back swing and the forward swing. And again, land it short of the green. And let's see how we go here. Pretty good. It dig into the ground, into the ground a little bit there, but but it was still pretty good. It's about uh, 10 feet from the hole. So three strokes. They're all the same in terms of where the handle is in relation to the head, and the club doesn't travel back higher than the right hip, or through higher than the left hip, or it doesn't travel further back than the right knee, or through the right knee, or even lower than that for the very very small ones. So Daryl, if you practice those strokes, just regulating them using your hips and your knees, you'll find that you're going to start to get some control over the distances of your chips and your pitch shots, and you're going to play a lot better golf because of it. So best of luck with that. Thanks for sending your question in. Well, there it is. We hope you enjoyed this lesson. Remember to share any questions in the comments below, and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. We want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan, and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information, and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program, or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video, guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.